Hi friends, uh, we'll try and learn about replication through these uh, preceding sessions and uh, the first session is for configuring the distribution. Before we start with any of the replication types uh, configuring like transactional or uh, uh, merge or snapshot replication, the first step for uh, starting the replication is to configure the distribution. So uh, here in this uh, demo session, we have uh, have three servers: primary, secondary, uh, second, and third instances. So we'll just see how to configure distribution box first. So uh, we'll try and configure distribution on one of these uh, servers. So let's uh, configure the distribution on the primary. I mean the default instance of SQL Server and uh, the first thing that uh, distribution once the distribution is set up uh, you'll see a system database distribution getting added uh, to the existing ones that is so and few uh, SQL agent jobs also will get uh, added to the jobs uh, SQL agent jobs uh, for distribution and uh, to begin with uh, right click on replication and say configure distribution and uh, let's click next this says Keshav saying uh, the default instance will act as its own distributor so let's go with this and uh, this folder uh, this is the default folder that will get created uh, for the initial snapshot uh, to be copied whenever the uh, publisher publishes uh, any of the articles it will get copied uh, and kept in this folder uh, for the distributors for the distribution uh, to further proceed and uh, reapply these uh, the copy changes into the subscriptions uh, for all the subscribers so this is the path where the initial snapshot will be kept so let's click next this is this would be the name of the distribution database which will get added to our list of system databases on this uh, server and this is the path where the database files that is the dot mdf and dot ldf log files will be uh, getting created uh, post this configuration setup so we can uh, also customize them based upon uh, our needs i mean we could change the path or uh, change the name of the database from the default distribution to anything else so let's keep it distribution for now the next is the servers so here we have uh, Keshav Singh as the publisher we could also alternatively add uh, other uh, servers which would be acting as a publisher I mean uh, the distribute the distributor will be our Keshav Singh uh, this default instance and there could be other uh, servers uh, like the second instance or the third instance which could also be the publisher but the, the distribution the task for distributing them would be handed to our cache of sync uh, default instance so we could do that as well so let's try and add SQL server publisher for demo we'll just try and add second instance so this will also be the publisher and uh, this will uh, I mean our default instance will also be act as a distributor for the publisher uh, second instance server so let's click next if here we need to feed a password for the second instance to hand over the snapshots okay let's click next and this will configure our this is giving the summary of all the configurations that we have done so far uh, this cache of sync will act as a distributor and it will create a distribution uh, database it will create a distributor database and there will be also the mdf and ldf getting added and additionally cache of i mean these two servers will be the publishers for the current distribution setup this uh, these two will be the publishers so let's click next and this is the configuration that will right so that is complete for us the configuration for distributor password and the publisher have been enabled so now let's go and check there will be jobs created first we'll see the distribution database 
if we refresh it we'll see the distribution database on the server has been created next we'll see the uh, SQL agent jobs for distribution there are a number of jobs created for the distribution and next uh, we could have in uh, this will also be acting as the distribution I mean as the publisher for this distribution so if we click on distributor properties and check these uh, this is a distribution database and the publishers for this are these two with uh, with the fed password so the configuration for our distributor is complete now for the next if, if we want to uninstall I mean if we want to do away with whatever set setups we have done uh, and uh, clean up the process it's something like this we'll disable the publishing and distribution so and disable it also for the next and finish this will uh, clean up all the changes which have happened so far so if we see the jobs they are gone and the database that was there will also be gone and for the preceding uh, sessions we will be having we will be needing the sec uh, default instance and the second instance to act as a distributor so let's configure that and keep it for the preceding sessions so what I do is I configure this to act as its own distributor for its for itself and configure it right and similarly I'll do the same thing for my second instance right so this is complete let's validate the changes there will be the jobs created they have been created and the database will be there right it is there next is for the default instance it is there mm, and the jobs right so we have configured correctly now in the preceding session we'll uh, look at how to configure the transactional replication further to this uh, so thank you and let's proceed to the next session